Alright, so for today's demonstration, we're going to talk about a subject I get asked about a lot, and that is how to customize the document templates. I'm using SolidWorks 2009, however, the uh, demonstration techniques that I'll show here will work for SolidWorks 2010, 2009, and just about any release going backward as well. Typically, the process uh, when a new user des uh, begins a new design, they'll choose File New, and they see this dialog that asks uh, to pick one of the generic templates, part assembly or drawing. Now the first thing I want to I want you to do is click the advanced button down here which will get rid of this uh, this basic display and instead show us a more detailed uh, display. Right now I only have three templates available, one for a part, one for an assembly, and one for a drawing. And you'll notice as I hover over a template I can see the path to where that document template resides. Now the procedure for modifying my part template is just to begin making a new, a, a new part using my default part template. So I'll choose OK and now I have a blank part using that default part template. Now there are two things generally involved in customizing a part template. The first thing is to customize the document specific settings. The second would be to add or modify any custom properties. Let's begin by modifying the document specific properties. This is done by going to Tools Options and clicking on the Document Properties tab. All of the settings in the document properties, such as the drafting standard, the annotation font, the units, the number of decimal places, and so forth, are document specific. So the changes that we make here will apply to this document only. However, when we save this document as a template, it will then bear all of those settings so that each document we make going forward with that type of template will have all those settings. For example, we probably want all of our parts to have a particular drafting standard like ANSI. Another important consideration is your units. So I'll go to the units and I would like all of my part documents to be in the inch scheme. I can then go, go ahead and specify the number of decimal places for my length units, dual dimensions, and angles, as well as my mass properties. So I invite you to uh, take a look at all of the different properties that you can set under the document specific properties and get those set up the way that you want in terms of your fonts, your arrow styles, uh, your precision, your units, etc. And once you've made all those changes, click OK and then the next thing that we'll want to do is set up any custom properties. These are the properties or attributes that we want all of our parts to have, things like descriptions and part numbers, things like that. The custom properties are found under the File menu and Properties. The Custom Property tab dialog comes up and you can see I have no properties currently entered, but let's go ahead and enter a couple. I'll enter one for Description. The type will be Text and I generally will just put in some kind of a placeholder because this is a property that I'm going to enter specific to each part that I create. And as I click uh, out of that field, another blank property field will appear to me to where I can create another property. And I might have one for PARTNO, P-A-R-T-N-O, that represents my part number. And it might have uh, uh, whatever my part numbering scheme might be. I might have a property for material. Now material is a special kind of property where as opposed to just being dumb text I may want to link the material to the actual SolidWorks material that I apply to the part. So if I drop down the list here under the value you can see that there are certain properties already defined like material, mass, and density. I'll choose material and you'll see that the, the, the document now has a little bit different syntax SW-material which means this property value is going to dynamically link back to whatever material I specify for the SolidWorks part. And I might add a final uh, couple properties here, one for weight. Weight again is one of those custom properties, special properties, where if I drop my list down here I can choose mass and that way it'll dynamically link to the mass of the part. And one more property for a drawn by. And here I might put in the, the uh, designer's initials. So these properties, once I hit OK here, and I, when I save this as a SolidWorks uh, template, these properties will always be present whenever I create a new part from this template. Okay, we're now ready to save this document as our part template. So I will choose File, Save As, Important, 
that I look under the Save As type, because right now SolidWorks is just wanting to save this as a typical SLD PRT. But if I drop down the Save As Type dialog, you'll see that I have an option to save as a part template, which has the extension .prtdot. When I choose that extension type, the, the save-in directory will automatically change to my SOLIDWORKS installation directory where my templates reside. Now here is the basic part template that comes out of the box. I can either save over that, or I can assign a new name to my new template. So I'm going to just give this one a new name, new part .prtdot and choose Save. At this time, I can close down this part document. It's no longer necessary. And now you'll notice when I go to create a new part, you'll see that I now have a new template that I can choose. When I choose that template, all of the custom properties that I had set up are now in this document, so I can go in and assign the, uh, the correct values as well as all of the document specific settings such as my units, my font, my number of decimal places, and so on. So that's a, a very quick and easy way how you can customize a part template. You can follow that same procedure to add basic customization to your parts, assemblies, and drawing document types. Stay tuned for uh, the additional uh, installments of this demonstration series for some more advanced techniques on customizing templates.